you could tell your hair was receding a little bit and getting thinner, and you just said, you know what, forget it. Just well, just kind of shave that sucker off. Debbie, my wife, was like, that's got to go. She says, you, you've got to, <laughs> it's time. She was pointing at something else, but. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, <what>? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, we have our dads on this episode, guys. I'm our so fathers. Ew. Yes. Look at them. They're here. Ew. Wow. Are you proud of us? So I'm this not is my, sure this we is raised my dad. them right. <laughs> This is my dad. Yeah. This is your dad, right? Um, yeah, that's... Uh, I, I, I was the homeless guy in the street holding a yeah. sign. You guys said, come... Come, come on up. in, sir. Do you want to be on the podcast? He's my dad also. Yeah. <laughs> I'm his dad. Yeah. I, I get around a lot. Yes, yeah, right. <laughs> uh, no, so we have uh, we, our actual dads here. This is no joke. Not people off the street. We have uh, Dan right, Vibbert and Ray Danner. Everybody. Thank you. Yay. That's our show, everybody. We gotta go. Bye bye. <laughs> Let's go, Dad. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, so uh, Daniel, as he officially goes by, is mine and Cody's father, and Raymond Danner over there is Luke and Joel's father. Raymond J. Danner the what, third. What does J stand for? John. Really? I didn't know that, actually. That's uh, your middle name. That's my That's middle name middle as well. Name. And Cody's middle name is Dan. <laughs> Imagine I canceled that. it, actually. I went and got it officially yeah. removed. My middle name's Abortion. It's we'll now talk. Chris. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk after this. Yeah, no, Dylan Oops Vibber. Dylan Oops Vibber. <laughs> That's what they call me. Uh, so you guys, uh, you know, obviously are fathers. Yes. So what's that like? <laughs> <laughs> Explain yourselves. <laughs> well, we're not the only fathers here because... Mm. Lucas is oh, a Oh, that's right. Also, Lucas so. is also a, Wait, a, a dad. Lucas is a new dad. Lucas is a new about? dad. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Relatively. Uh, I mean, she's three years old now. I mean, it's, it's old news. Super no, old news. It now. is old news now. <laughs> no, when they're, when they're 30 something, that's old. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Not yeah. when they're three. Thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, obviously, we're missing Kayla as your, your daughter, but we had her on a few, a few months ago. Yes, and we did. She's actually, uh, random fact, she's the most watched episode we've had. Not in terms of clicks, but in terms of watch time. So well, hopefully we outdo her. Yeah, yeah you gotta. Can, uh, how are you gonna top that one? Well, Take your shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you'll oh, be <laughs> sorely disappointed. Yeah, yeah. I, this thing could have been a lot better if we just had our shirts off. I mean, yeah, I, no, yeah. it's not too late. <laughs> oh, spring break all over again. <laughs> You need to calm down. <laughs> That's your firstborn. They would flag. They would flag the day. It would. It would, yeah. it would be against YouTube's terms of service. <laughs> there aren't sunglasses dark enough. Actually, there are not. Speak- you had to put one of those like welding masks. Yeah, I need a welding mask over. Yeah. Like arc, arc welding. Speaking of shirts off, uh, I always get people asking me about uh, your bodybuilding days, Dad, um, mm. and what that was like. And I've tried to explain how uh, how I was so young. I don't really remember you doing that. Um, but do you ever miss those days of working out till like the sun, you know, came up? No, I don't. You don't it's at a, all? It was a, I mean, of course it was the early years. I mean, in my early twenties, but, uh, this is this going to be a long story? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take the full hour. Um, no, it was, it was definitely, uh, it was just something that after doing sports in high school, mm-hmm. uh, playing football and doing track and all that. I still had that competitive side, and <clears throat> it was something that, um, you know, cousin was into it, you know, my dad was into it a little bit and stuff like that, so mm. it was just something that, uh, you know, I was playing softball, and, but I just wanted to do something more of an individual uh, sport, mm-hmm. and, uh, but it was, it was a lot, uh, it was definitely challenged you, and um, I see that it took more time than you know I really wanted it to. Uh, later on, I mean, it took mm-hmm. a lot of time away from you guys. So you're saying you regret it? Uh, there were some things that I really enjoyed, but you know, as you get older, you look back and you think, "Man, I spent way too much time on that." You know, but um, you know. So, so you're saying never go to the gym? That's what you're saying. Uh, <laughs> if I could just deduce down what you're really saying here. <laughs> uh, no, uh, you just want to keep it in balance. Right. Well, yeah. that type of level of determination to do that type of training and uh when josh was on the podcast and i i think matt has talked about it a few times as well they remember you a lot more at that stage than cody and i ever do yeah and they said like a lot of times it's just they were so in awe of how you could get your body to that level of physique 
And I said, well, I was just born this way, but enough about me. Let's talk about you. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely, uh, it's a very selfish sport to where it's, you're just, you almost have to be consumed with it. And, you know, I, of course, I didn't go up to the pros or something like that. That wasn't my interest. I just wanted to do something, you know, local. But uh, it was, it was definitely, it was definitely challenging. Mm -hmm. um, but if I had it to do all over again, I don't know if I would have, if I would have done it. I would have probably done something different. Was, was Arnold your idol back then? Uh no, I mean, Same yeah, he was pretty big at that time. Charlie Chaplin was. But <laughs> Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> Mr. Rogers. Uh, you know, there was there was a lot of, you know, uh, Franco Colombo, uh, you know, Tom oh, Platts, wow. those guys, you know, those were always guys that you always, you know, idolized and stuff like that. But they were at a level that uh, I knew I'd never get to because, of course, you know, it involves a lot more substance that you got to use. Hmm. So, that you yeah. took, for sure. Uh, no. Like creatine, <laughs> creatine, yeah. just protein, protein powder, protein, protein powder. Yeah, yeah, well, creatine wasn't even that big at that time. Powerade, you know, it was oh, you Powerade, know. Water. Yeah. Powerade, Gatorade. Yeah. Also, creatine, I don't think is an illegal substance. I know I was, I was, yeah. that was the joke. Yeah, but uh, you Can know, you know, relax a little bit. Hey, 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 hey! You two, calm down. Hey, I'll make break you us up. Break Cut. us up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do you remember him doing that, right, when he was working out back in the day? Sure. And what were your thoughts about that? Were you going, these guys nuts? No. I can't my guy's my thoughts were, exercise is bad for your fat. Why do you do it? <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing I at sure. the time, Ray? Fat. What was your hobby? What, what did you do? At that time? Yeah. Back in my 20s? It was in your 20s? Butter. Well, I was, well, he started at early 20s. Uh, yeah, so he so was, I was uh, yeah, I guess. 30s. Maybe it's just, wow, that seems well, weird. So I was working. Oh. Working like a dog. Well, I was I working was... too. Yeah. <laughs> working like crazy. Yeah. You guys have had very similar. You guys have usually been in the same company a lot, or if not the same company, the same industry. If well, it's not landscaping, for, it's for like in the 30, grocery industry. Yeah, we 30 were. Years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thirty years. We were in the same industry. Mm -hmm. I was what did you guys do? For all the listeners out there, yeah, they don't know. Uh, we were meat cutters. Uh, we worked for you know local chain and Alpha Beta. Alpha Beta. Alpha Beta. Yeah, we started yeah. off at Alpha Beta, and well, I started in seventy eight. Gamma Ray came out a few years later. 82, yeah. I think it was. 82. 82. But, uh, 1982, Ray. or so it was 1882. What about, yeah. what about cutting meat fascinated you guys? You're like, you saw Nothing. some meat and I said, I gotta it. cut that sucker. I'm just gonna slice that sucker up. What was, what was it about that drew, drew you to that <laughs> the, the primal man, primal man in us. Is what yeah, it was. I guess. Uh, I, I've always enjoyed it. It's just something. I mean. To me, it's it's still a craft. It's you know, it's a trade, mm -hmm. and uh, it was just something. I mean, growing up with a dad that was a hunter, mm -hmm. uh, so I kind of I always grew up with that, and so that was just something that <clears throat> it almost seemed like it was just natural for me to just go into it. Mm -hmm. And did you have any butcher idols? <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, no. <laughs> no, Joel, I did not. <laughs> I, I had a totally different motivation. I had a wife that liked to eat. Oh well, so You're in whole with that. sides of beef. <laughs> mm -hmm. I had to learn how to do it quickly. Mm. You would come home; it would be like a Flintstones. It would be a whole just <laughs> dino rack of ribs <laughs> inside your car. Uh, I told you to stay out of the refrigerator. <laughs> And Ray, I heard it was, uh, I, I'm assuming this is true because they've told me many times, but I want to hear it from you. You wanted to call Lucas Miles Rutherford. That was originally <laughs> supposed to be his name. Yeah. That was, yes, I was, I was vying for Miles Rutherford very hard. And uh, I know, son. What was the, I wanted to have, what was the thinking? I, I wanted to have somebody, you know, when they became an attorney and a judge that, they would say, Say all rise for Miles Rutherford. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know yeah. what? I have I have heard though, people have commented on my on my name on my real name that it is it's like a they they say I've heard people say it's like a uh, like a news anchor name or something like that. Yeah, we we went back and forth uh, many many times, Janet and I, mm -hmm. and uh, I I I just went through the book and I thought, gosh, that just sounds like a really uh, a mm -hmm. great name. Miles, Miles Rutherford. Where did Rutherford? I've heard I of Miles before, yeah. like Miles Davis. That'd been kind of cool. It just but, it came from the book. But we're, we're Rutherford. I've Rutherford with, B. With Hayes. The R's, you know. <laughs> oh, Rutherford B. Hayes. <laughs> <laughs> and um, but we didn't 
obviously yeah, uh, end up with that name. Thank but I, but I, we went through many, many names mm-hmm. for you. I was named after the Rifleman, right? The Lucas Kane, yeah. yeah. Lucas Kane? Wow. Back in the day. It's an even back cooler the day, name. There was. Before, you know, Star Wars and all that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, actually, when the Star Wars was out at that point. Star Wars so. was, yeah, Star Wars was in 77. Yeah, so uh, long yeah, but you weren't named after Luke Skywalker. <laughs> George Luke Skywalker. Lucas. No, George it came so far. No. You were named after George. A, n- Lucas. a nerdy director guy. <laughs> no, let's name him after George Lucas. <laughs> That'd be perfect. I think it'll no, work. We out. went through many, many names. All right, Hannah. Hannah. <laughs> there could have been a lot of options that you could have. Hornbill. Mm-hmm. Hornbill. <laughs> so uh, you guys worked in the same industry, and you guys have obviously been doing sort of a landscape and you guys are kind of like now getting towards the end of your guys' career are you guys what start, what uh, <laughs> what are you Who trying said to that? say trying to say you guys are close to retirement is it dead. is it uh kind of scary that you guys are close to retirement or even if you don't know if you can retire the fact that this is around the time you're supposed to retire is it somewhat scary like, scary or like exciting is, is there any type of anticipation about it would you like a little advice yeah, please <laughs> I, 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 words of wisdom i always appreciate words of wisdom <laughs> uh we watched your your grandmother gwen's oh yeah, yeah. the podcast episode, with and she has a very good advice don't mm. take life too seriously oh. you gotta laugh at things oh, okay that's why we laugh quite a bit and that's no, why you came on this podcast. That's like, why I'm here. This seriously, to make the rest of the world laugh. <laughs> we were together. We were together today uh, up in Thousand Oaks, and we were just talking about that. You know how this phase of your life, you just can't take things that seriously anymore. You know, you just go and make the best of it and enjoy each day. So, because well, you don't know how much you got left, you or don't. how you're going to feel. Right, and I imagine that. I mean. A lot of people don't even make it to your guys' age. No. A lot of people don't no. even make it that far at all. So, and I, and I think that's something, too. I mean, we were just talking about wedding stuff a minute ago because I'm getting ready for the old plunge coming up here. Yay. And, uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a good thing. It really Get is. Out. Yeah, you'll, yeah no, you'll, I, you'll I'm, I'm looking forward to it. But we were talking about all the stress and stuff that comes with planning a wedding. And I think it's just inevitable. But... That being said, you kind of go, what are we stressing about? Like, this is supposed to be fun. Like, mm-hmm. and who cares if something goes wrong? Like, it's it, this is supposed to be an exciting time, and why are we taking it so seriously? I mean, I take marriage very seriously, and I take our vows and that stuff very seriously. But the whole process of, like, the the flowers and, you know, the suits and the dresses and all the, the cakes and the food. Perfect. Yeah, everything's trying to got to be yeah. spot on, and it's like... Who, who cares? Let it, let it go. Yeah. <laughs> let it go. Yeah, let it go. I play that song a lot at work. I hate work. that song. Mm-hmm. Let it go. But with, with marriage, here's a inside little story that I'm sure most of you guys have heard. But mm-hmm. when Janet and I got married, we did it at People's Church. Mm-hmm. And Bonnie Shelley was our wedding director. Mm-hmm. And uh, she had everything down to the minute. Mm-hmm. So we... Got married, went through the ceremony. We went downstairs, and we took some pictures. We went back upstairs mm-hmm. and took pictures outside. Mm-hmm. And the far- photographer was done with us. He says, okay, you guys are good. So we went downstairs. Mm-hmm. The reception hall was all cleaned up. Tables were put away. <laughs> Chairs were put away. <laughs> Just the whole thing's gone. <laughs> Everything's gone. And we, we kind of looked around and like, Go start your life. And what happened? Yeah. <laughs> you know, weren't, weren't we supposed to be here in the middle? Of, yeah. We we had the only cake that we had was from the the bite that we fed each other mm-hmm. with the camera with the photographer, yeah. and so that was it. Everything wow. was Jeez. everything was I, gone. I think that wedding planner didn't do a very good job. <laughs> well, she did a very very good job. She just forgot about us. <laughs> so yeah. things like that, you, you can look back and you can laugh. Because, right, right. Yeah. Well, at that point, like, what, what are you going to do? Like, I, I can either sit here and dwell on it and hate everything for the rest of my life, or you just move on. You got to move on. I would call. I, I would call every single guest and tell them to come back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're going to party with me, <laughs> please. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the way it went for us, yeah. and it, it's it was very comical. We were so young. I mean, we were twenty two. Mm-hmm. We did not think out far enough to even make dinner reservations. Yeah. Well, things have changed. There was well, so, so much on our minds. You know, we didn't even think about it. Well, I think what, what's different now is with the the age of the internet in our generation is that mm-hmm. things are a lot easier to plan probably 
now oh, oh, than yeah. they were back for when you guys were planning I think weddings. Things are just more accessible. <laughs> well, that too. Yeah, you yeah. just look at like wedding checklist. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, literally, like, uh, we had so many <laughs> templates given to us that were just, yeah. just do this, this, and this, and then you, like, I need to look at this, or I need to find this person, and back in the days, I'm sure it was, like, get the, the yellow pages, mm-hmm. and just, right, yeah. you, you could, you could pretty much plan your, whole, your, organize your whole wedding without talking to a single person. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we, we had, we had a whole church help us, mm-hmm. which we're thankful for, but it, it. Mm-hmm. Just kind of went without us. Kind of went well. Like, who needs the wedding That's couple? The you know? way it goes. Let them go. <laughs> and speaking of yellow pages, uh, Dad, I remember back in the day when you used to be able to rip a phone book in half. Yep. And people, you, you think I'm exaggerating. And Cody and I have seen it with our own eyes. Our dad has taken, like, we're not talking about the, the yellow pages you see nowadays where, like, half half the, the counties don't even register their phones anymore because everyone's got cell phones. This is back when everyone had landlines. So the phone book is twice the size it is now. It's the size of a dictionary, essentially. Mm-hmm. And our dad would just take it and rip it in half. Mm-hmm. And you go, how, how is that possible? And then we saw it happen, and it was just something you go, what? Mm-hmm. But at what point did you sit down and say, I could rip that phone book in half? <laughs> <laughs> See that phone book? I'm going to rip that thing in half. Um, like who, someone had to have dared you to do that. Well, actually, um, my cousin used to do it, and uh, so we just as we got kept on training and getting stronger and stronger, it was just something that uh, you know. Of course, we saw the top athletes; they they would do it in bodybuilding, and uh, it just became. Plus, what, your your severe anger for <laughs> uh, yes, exactly. How much you hated them. Yeah. I'll show you on Cody's arm right here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't they're weak. <laughs> what What are your thoughts on Cody as your son? <laughs> Don't even ask him that. <laughs> That's a whole other episode. Actually, uh, a question for both of you. I actually asked our, our mom this. Uh, it's It's more of a deep philosophical question, but um, you had your mom on here before me. Yeah, uh, uh, well, it's just, what? you know, Louis, the way Louis, they had go. everyone on before us. Yes, mm-hmm. yeah. Except we talk for, about that? we didn't have our mom. Actually, I, I've invited you many times on the show. Well, what just, are you talking oh, about? Yeah. Well, this hasn't been on. Yeah. Almost everyone. You called me last night and said, well, can you come on? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, no, this is the second time we've tried to record with you guys. Our last time, literally just technical failure on our end and a uh, you know, whole long story. But anyway, um, the question is, when you have a child, I'm assuming the child... Uh, if you have more than one at least there might be one of them that is more like you now regardless if you like your own traits or not do you think that there is a, a favoritism that is a lot easier to play with the child that is more like you than it is not the other one as in if the scales were how, how do you balance the scales between the child that is not like you with a child that is more like you, because it might be easier to connect with that child. Dang. Do you want me to answer that question? First of all, who's your favorite child? <laughs> then we'll <laughs> rank you your first? children. You will find out when you have your own children. Mm, how cryptic. Who's his favorite? There, yeah. there, is, <laughs> there is no favoritism no. at all. Well, I, I, there, maybe, I'm, not. maybe you're misinterpreting the question. It's, I, uh, the Joel, question is not so okay, much. No. I understand. Joel looks like me. Mm-hmm. I'm so but Luke's so, his favorite. I am so sorry, Joel. <laughs> yeah. I'll apologize right We're now sorry, for that. We're sorry, Joel. We're sorry. It's all right. I've I've lived to live with it. <laughs> <laughs> there there is plastic surgery out there for, for you that that could help. But you don't have enough money. For me, I'm done. You don't have enough money. <laughs> But, I have uh, credit. Mm-hmm. but you see different things in different children. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it's kind of funny when one imitates you and they don't know it. Mm-hmm. it it's a compliment that you that you will take right. without anybody knowing it. Mm-hmm. But there, as far when it when it comes to favoritism, when you have somebody that looks just like you, and then you have somebody that kind of thinks just like you, mm-hmm. that like. So, what are you talking about? So you see, <laughs> you see different things. Like, okay, he'll, he say for instance, when the boys were in school, they'd come home, they'd be excited about so, something, mm-hmm. and and I didn't want to say, gee, you know what? When I was in school, I was excited about the same thing, mm-hmm. 
you don't do that. You let them grow on their own. Mm. And as a parent, you stand back and you watch this, and you can almost predict the future sometimes. Mm. Maybe it, it's different with me with boys because if I would have had a girl, she might have thought totally different. Mm -hmm. But both of these guys here, I feel they think along the same lines as I do mm. from what I see as they've grown up through the years. Mm. Uh, looks doesn't there's no favoritism you just you just don't just like okay now i have a granddaughter mm -hmm. do i love her more than i love these guys mm -hmm. no Absolutely. it's different oh <laughs> so what you're saying is luke's your favorite <laughs> <laughs> that's what i heard no yeah. joel i'm waiting for a grandchild <laughs> oh. <laughs> pressure's on joel take that drink joel yeah. actually i have a signed document that says i'm the favorite <laughs> Sign dog up and <laughs> I'm just excited he's getting married. It's forged. Mm -hmm. I'm a long ways from having a grandkid. Who, excited or surprised? Uh, Who, me? Yeah. Excited excited surprised, surprised too. No. Uh, so, uh, as far as as far as me, it's <clears throat> you're a little bit more like our personalities are more of the same. Get the more talk. heck off this podcast. You, you should be proud. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's only because Cody came from a different planet <laughs> yeah um, Cody's uh, definitely you know more quieter and stuff like that but Dylan's yeah, personalities as far as any kind of favoritism no I've never felt that even having a daughter having Kayla uh, she's probably sitting there going what but uh, you know having a girl was different Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's definitely special. It was something that I, I would definitely you know have enjoyed having her in my life. Mm -hmm. But having the three of you, you know, it's always been always the same. Have you guys ever seen a a trait in one of us, either any kid doesn't matter, that reminded you of something you did and then realized you hated that? Like a tree, okay. like, like there was something that we did that you go. That's just like what I used to do, and I. That's annoying. <laughs> that's that's lame. What, or, like, or like something that we did that would like make you realize, oh shoot, that's super annoying. Yeah, that's super annoying. That's <laughs> something I would do. Um, not really. Um, oh, so we're perfect. Oh, Cody, perfect, perfect children. No, I didn't say Running that. like a girl. No. <laughs> <laughs> Built like one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with his hips? Look at them hips. <laughs> uh, hips and sway. <laughs> no, I, I have enjoyed each one of you, you know, the times in your life and stuff. It's, oh, God. Okay. It is. No, what I mean, you two, you two were extremely easy. Um, I'm still easy. Coming up, you know, <laughs> raising you guys and stuff like that. You guys were pretty, you know, uh, Kayla was a little bit more of a challenge. Um, but, Why? Uh, Hmm? Why? Why was she more of a challenge? Uh, Why was the girl, girl the challenge? Uh, There's a myth out there that women are harder, or girls are harder to raise than uh, it's boys. It's not a myth. I think there's a crossover. Mm -hmm. I think boys are more rowdy. I could be totally wrong. Boys are rowdy up mm -hmm. front, and then they taper off. Yeah. Girls are... Girls are in the super long term easy uh, uh, up front, and then they just get crazy. Yeah. <laughs> there's a there's a there's a crossing point. Yeah, there, there might be like a, in the long term, girls are uh, probably more difficult, but certainly in the beginning, boys are probably a little more of a handful. Yeah. I would think that's yeah. my assumption. Well, from, in general, in general, from seeing Kayla and her mom, there's a lot of similarities from what I hear how Debbie was yeah. when she was little. So cocaine. I think I think, yeah, I, think uh, <laughs> I think there's a lot of you know connection there with that. Mm. But uh, but you guys, I was pretty pretty mellow kid, uh, but I had a, so a dad that was pretty you know, mm -hmm. you know he run. He used everything. to shoot you in the face. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't let you get away with too much. Yeah, yeah. and I think I kind of did a lot of the similarities of that. But uh, so there's a lot of things that I mean. Obviously, we learn a lot from our dads. Uh, anybody does, and there there's certain things that you just you pick up and you go like, all right, how am I going to tackle this? You just go, well, how would my dad do it? And you don't realize you do that until after you've done it. Yeah. A lot of things you just go like, I, I just that's how my dad showed me how to do it, and that's just the way I'm going to do it. And well, a lot of a lot of the lessons you don't run in, you don't run into the real life situation until like later in life, right? Mm -hmm. Like when you're out on your own or whatever, living on your own. Right. Uh, like we've had this discussion owning your own home. Oh yeah. <laughs> Boy, ninety percent of those lessons don't come into play until you yes. are have to take care of the things that are around you. <laughs> 
just these tiny little things that pop up and you go, what? I, I guess I can't just call someone and say, yeah, come fix that. I have to like coordinate and figure out how this is going to, you know, what's this going to cost? Like the repercussions of this whole thing. And it's not just like, or, oh, somebody else is going to yeah. take care of that. Or if it's like an emergency, like something you have to deal with right away. Yeah. Some type of, you know, right. water leak or like gas, I don't know, whatever. But do my water heater still going on Are still still, still problem that's yeah. been months yeah it's been two months now get they still haven't fixed my water rip that thing out months. put a new one yeah. in. might want to get that taken care of before you <laughs> yeah get yeah <laughs> dad it, lo- it looked like you were gonna you were gonna res- or answer uh, yes. dylan's previous question i was well, i was what was your response uh the one thing that i i kind of feel bad that you guys got from me was your ability to dance you know what? Yes. What are you talking about? I'm amazing. <laughs> I no, I well then I'm in shock. Me and Dad are, are one person because I, I have zero ability. Neither Negative do I. ability. Neither do I. I cannot I couldn't Yeah. Couldn't do it. I would not be dancing on the stars or dancing on people that don't know you. I it wouldn't matter. <laughs> you were their first contestant who they wanted to have on there. <laughs> it's funny that you mentioned that. I, I can't think of a time where I've seen you dance, Ray. I mean, we've been to both Luke and Joel's wedding, okay, uh, but I don't at, remember. At Lucas's wedding, yeah. I danced all night. Do you remember who it was with? Janet. I do. It wasn't mom. <laughs> it wasn't my wife. Oh right. yeah. You remember Joel? Yeah. It was it was Josh's ex girlfriend now. Yes, it was. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Now do you remember? That's why. That's why no, they broke up. That, that's now, why they broke up. You came between them, right? I came between them. Home wrecker. Yeah. <laughs> only like ninety years between us. You and Mom have been in counseling ever since. Last seven years. Dance counseling. Dance counseling. That's wild. Dance counseling. Yeah, I, I love to dance, and I'm not very good at it. But mm. she was drunk enough; she didn't care. So. <laughs> You know what? I that's, took advantage of it. The way it is. You and Josh doesn't dance either. Yeah, Josh doesn't do it. Josh no, and Josh just, didn't dance, sure. and she loved. So we just kind of. I, I, that's know. why me and Josh talked that whole night. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because we, I was out neither dancing. of us dance. Well, I, I, don't, I don't know so yeah. much because like Cody and I don't mind dancing, but I think it's just because I don't necessarily. I don't in the least think I'm a good dancer in the least, but I do think there is something cathartic about the idea of just going out there and acting stupid and not caring. Yep. There's something that feels really good about that. Absolutely. Just like, I know I look like a complete moron right now, but it's so refreshing. <laughs> it's like, no one, I, I don't care if anybody judges me. It just feels good. It, all the better people laugh at you. Yeah, yeah. Luke yeah. watched me dance not too long ago. Oh, really? Was uh, it in the shower? Uh, the <laughs> the, the <laughs> wedding session. we were both at, but you, you, were, hear you were uh, the photographer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, I wouldn't call I did. it dancing. But. Yes, I did. You, yeah. yeah. You guys had I was a, on the dance floor. You guys had a special song. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Just for you. <laughs> Just for me. Dad, are you a dancer? I, I, I've seen you. I heard that you used to cut a rug back in the day. <laughs> when, when you weren't cutting meat, you were cutting rugs. <laughs> um, I, I do like to dance. I mean, yeah, I, I'm terrible at it, but I, I, I've always enjoyed in high school and all that. I went to every dance I think I could ever get to. Is that where you were at all those nights when Cody and I were home alone? You went out dancing? <laughs> high school dances. High school dances. <laughs> don't, well, well, don't tell your mom. Well into his 30s. Yeah. <laughs> I got to go to the high school dance. <laughs> got a chaperone. Uh, yeah, I don't... Uh, I, I've seen only a few handful of pictures of you back in the day, back when you were young and single, and it's just... What? The, the look. The, the whole thing is just... <laughs> I mean, there was a time I, I remember. You know, one of these days you're going to be at this age. And <laughs> no, you'll no, be looking no. Back. Here's the thing: is that I, I and I will own it. <laughs> I'm going to own it. I'll be like, I look like that, and that's just the way. So wait, it wait, D- Dylan, go into detail. What exactly? What is the look? Well, the, there's, a, the look. there's a very di- uh, distinct photo, and it's actually on Facebook. It's the one that you have of this. It was. It had to be the '70s. The really long collar, and it was just open V-neck collared shirt and uh, oh. you had this gold chain and you had sideburns all the way oh, down man. here it was the 70s i have to see this <laughs> picture and just this long like flowy hair and again sideburns the whole thing it was just like oh my yeah, wait Lord. i was i, I remember yeah. that i was at knott's berry farm <laughs> knott's berry farm when the occasion calls go to knott's berry farm yeah. go to knott's berry farm <laughs> it was it was like western days yeah. Yeah. whenever yeah. i go to disneyland i put on my bell bottoms <laughs> <laughs> Disco night at, yeah. at Knott's Berry Farm. 
This guy's wedding pictures. Oh yeah, those are classic. Are amazing. They mm-hmm. are totally amazing. Didn't you have a fro or something? No, he had a perm. He had a I, oh, I, perm. He had, a perm. He, had, he had an afro with tight curls. Nice. And I it was, was like big. I didn't, talk, I didn't talk to him. The perm fell out. I mean, it was awful. <laughs> and a white tux. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Again, the big lapel yep with like roughly shirt it was it was just like dumb and dumber it's incredible i tell you (laughs) it It is right there that was a style back then oh fashion but yeah i did i had a perm yeah Yeah. i loved it actually i really really did did you put stuff in there like birds and birds birds money birds and spare change keep your lunch money that was those are the only two things birds and money you know a little bank it was a different oh, good heavens. Yeah, I remember when life. I first saw you with that perm. Was <laughs> what like, was your oh. thought? What was your thought? Yeah. I, it was awful. <laughs> <laughs> so even in the 70s, it was awful. It was awful. <laughs> I was like, what did you do? Well, we got married in 79. Mm-hmm. You so and my dad? That was... <laughs> This changes it everything. It only lasted six weeks. Wow. Prop eight. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> You'll find out later. Uh, yeah. No, it was it was a different time different, of life. Different and time. It was accepted back then. Everybody in the family that had hair right. had a perm. Everybody who had hair. <laughs> well, it helped that mom. <laughs> wow, that mom, was a shot at Danny right there. Yeah, hey, hey, hey! hey, 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 hey it, it helped that mom did hair. Right? She did yeah. the perm, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. You're yeah. yeah. Their mom and your wife does hair. My yeah. aunt, our yeah. aunt. Yeah. I guess weird. Just for context. Uh, but speaking of hair, uh, what's it like to not have a hair these days? <laughs> 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 no, actually, I I was just telling uh, Amanda, my fiance, for those who don't know, uh, telling her that uh, I don't know if you guys saw the clip where John Travolta was on Jimmy Fallon recently, and he was doing like this dance thing you know oh look he's dancing just like in saturday night fever but whatever um but it's been a very like an open secret if you will that he's balding and he's been balding for a long time so any movie you've seen him with hair in the last 10 15 years totally a wig Mm. totally a toupee um and he finally went out on the show with just kind of some scruff and shaved head and he looked awesome i was like what why weren't you doing this years ago and i know that in hollywood things are maybe a little different because people are like gotta have hair you know that's just you look healthy or whatever but he looked awesome i was like why, why aren't you doing that and there's a lot of guys that I, I saw a guy at the gym today he had the nothing on top and just everything on the sides here and i go what what are you doing what is the shave point of that just shave it off some, and you some guys just don't want to let it go yeah and you came to that revelation luckily back into the 90s yeah where you're you weren't even as bad as some of the guys i see it was just you could tell your hair was receding a little bit and getting thinner and you just said you know what forget it just well just gonna shave that sucker off debbie my wife was like that's gotta go she says you you've gotta <laughs> she, it's time she was pointing at something else but uh, <laughs> 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 oh, <what? laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, it, it's so weird now because now when I see pictures of you with hair, it's weird because it's been so long. But I remember that day. I remember that day when you said, like, "Yeah, you guys yeah, went." Yeah. I went with you. Yeah, yeah we were yeah. there. And, and we like, all went. I think we were going to Palm Springs, mm-hmm. and I like, think all three of you mm-hmm. were there. And you're like, just shave it off. Just would you, go would you rent a chainsaw? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't understand why guys that get older because male pattern baldness is it, there's a like a 90% chance you're going to lose at least some of your hair at, at some point in your life. And there's a 50-50 chance you're going to probably lose most of it if you're a guy. So that means at some point you just need to come to terms with the fact that you probably should just shave your head. You just need to accept it, and it's fine. And I think just people... You probably like, have about two more weeks left. Eh, two more <laughs> weeks. You're uh, yeah, I, I know, I know I'm doing better than you were at your age. Yes. But I'm, no. I, I'm ready for the day, and I will totally accept it and just run with it and say, you know what, I, when the time comes, I'm ready for it. I'm ready to do it. I know I'm I'm losing my hair for sure. And I feel like I have the wrong body type to be bald. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hang on as long as I possibly can. I'm gonna fall right into that just cliche person who has the classic like horseshoe shape on their, their head. You should go the Benjamin Franklin, just grow it out long, like yeah. shoulder yeah. length. Yeah, weird like yeah, the horseshoe mullet. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, get I, it, Joel. I, I can admit some people have better head structure than others, but uh, nonetheless, it's it, it certainly is better to shave your head than have the little bit. Yes. Some guys, like, they will grow it off all the way to the side and then just whoosh, yep, the comb flip over. it over. I, I feel like if I shave my head, it's going to look like E.T., <laughs> He's all wrinkly and brown for some reason. Are you going to be that tan? You probably look a little bit. I'm going to be. It's super tan. My scalp is just your scalp is the only fried. part. It's, it's like it's like that old meme where they say like expectations is you're going to look like The Rock or Jason Statham. You know when you shave your head, but in reality you're just going to look like it's just mold. Yeah, it's like funny weird. Mold. I mean, because neither one of you guys. I mean, we got uh, really uh, we got the good hair. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're 80 years old and you're still happy. I'm 80 years old and I still have hair. That's good. You look fantastic for 80. Oh, well, boy. you said your mom, Gra- Mom Grandma Mary, she had, she a, had ton a ton of hair. She had a ton of hair and it was curly. Mm-hmm. And she's always, I mean, she just had a hair full of hair. Yeah. All so the whatever the gene end. that is, we yes. got from her. And you got that. And Joel, I don't know, our mailman might have been. <laughs> Apparently. Now, it's not so much that Luke has hair, it's the type of hair he has that's weird. Because everybody else, at least in this group, has... Ties in with his face. They, they had, like, long blonde hair. Some of it's gotten darker. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. when he was young, he had blonde hair. And that's weird. the yeah. weirdest thing is that we all had long blonde hair. Even and my daughter has blonde hair. Yeah, and <laughs> for some reason you have, like, this weird well, he's got fro. The curly, yes. curly fro now. Like, Full. Where, yeah. where did that come from? Like... The mailman. Yeah, as I say, there's a mailman. <laughs> Let's get we down had the a bare few bones. Uh, <laughs> no. When Luke was five, he had that beard. <laughs> <laughs> I sneezed one time. I believe hard. it came out. How just, often do you I just shave? strained real hard. Yeah. You what? shave every day? I shave every day. Yeah. Do you, you shave no. every day? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't shave every day. <laughs> Different parts of his body, maybe. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what normal shaving routine is because no. for me, it's like once every two weeks. Every day is. I do. I go once a week. I don't shave. You shave once a week? Yeah. Once yeah, a week. Yeah, I do too. What do you shave? Well, every day. You shave every day? Well, yeah. I mean, on the sides and stuff like that. Not this, but... Well, you, you were growing the side out for a minute there. What, what happened? You, you second-guessed yourself? Uh, somebody said she didn't like it. <laughs> somebody <laughs> said she didn't like it. You yeah. Know one guess who that was. <laughs> I, shave, I shave my neck. Otherwise, my beard just connects. Yeah. It just goes down. <laughs> yeah. Go down. Pretty soon, you just turn into Chewbacca. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Trail yeah. of tears. Yeah, no, I shave, I shave my neck probably once every two or three days. Wow. I go once a week. It's just like a steady routine. Man. It's, not, it's not even like I have to go a week. It's just I'm like, all right, just it. Don't even use a razor. Just go outside and let the breeze. Yeah, just let it Take fall it off. off. Are you going to shave it all off for your wedding? You used to no. have a beard. Actually, well, I, I, had, I asked Amanda if she liked it. For she a said, lot of years, you had a goatee for a lot of years. Yes, and I, I had, you had a lot I of had a Ray can grow the best beard. I can grow a beard. Yeah, See, what, I got the beard from him, too. Why, yeah. Why, why, yeah, why why don't you grow a beard? It's a good question. Because I'm afraid I'm going to look like Santa Claus. It's in now. It's in now. You're 80. You can get a job with the malt. I could. I think between now and, you know, now and December. But stuff. But I mean, you don't, you don't have to grow a beard that's, you know, five inches long. You just do stubble, and that's in right now. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe I'll try that. Yeah. got to yeah. get it. You just got to get the clippers and get it all the same length and call it a day. Look. Yeah. Grow it out. We'll come back tomorrow and see how much you need. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Be down to his knees. We won't recognize you. Okay. I'll have it. I'll have Hi, it Gandalf. <laughs> <laughs> come on, good. Gandalf. Hey. Yeah, Gandalf. <laughs> what, what was your impression of Ray the first time you met him, however long ago that was, when you saw him? Did you? Because I know that, that there's a running joke that you you call him by. Uh, I mean, my dad's sister is uh, Ray's wife, just for everybody listening in. But there's a joke that you have. You call him Louis, and I just found out a couple months ago that the reason you call him Louis. It's because that was Janet's first boyfriend, first boyfriend. Yeah. and you just kept... Oh my gosh, I never knew this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You didn't know that? No. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. They didn't want me. They wanted Louie. Yeah. I, I miss That's Louie. That's hilarious. <laughs> so you intentionally just call, kept calling him, oh yeah, you're Louie. You know, you're yeah. the first guy that got away. <laughs> no, I, I, I still remember Ray. A quick story. The first time we went to a football game, Janet... And a, g- a girlfriend of hers and stuff, and my, me and my cousin went. Mm. So the four of us went through this football game at Ventura High School. And I guess, you know, Ray was trying to get Janet's attention, all that kind of stuff. So, mm. But he was about six or seven rows behind us in the bleachers. Mm-hmm. And so finally, a, a friend of Ray's came over and was sitting behind Janet and stuff, was talking to her, and he goes, who's the guys? Mm-hmm. She goes, that's my brother. Mm. Like that. 
So he turns around and goes, it's okay, Ray. It's her brother. <laughs> yeah. That's oh, the wow. story so, of my life right there. Oh, yeah. He, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Love it. I had some really smart friends. <laughs> uh, so we so we ended up after the game, we met at a pizza place. All of us did. And uh, Janet ended up, you know, talking to him and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I remember yeah. the first time he came over at the house, met mom and dad and all that kind of stuff. And. I mean, that was it. I'd love to be yeah. a fly on the that wall for that end. conversation. Oh, and what our, what our grandpa, grandpa yeah. would have said uh, with his gun just ready and holstered. <laughs> yeah. All right. You know, I, it was like they spoke a different language. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I can believe that. It yeah. was. Absolutely. I could under, I understood most of it. But then through the years, obviously, I'd gone on to it. But the, I remember the very first time I went to dinner and Fred said, uh, could you pass me the cow salve? <laughs> and I looked at the table and I thought, what's here that's going to come out of a cow <laughs> that I'm going to pass Fred? So I grabbed the butter and I was like, okay, it makes sense now. Yeah, yeah. Everything started to fall into place. For the people who are listening who don't know, our grandparents were born and raised in Tennessee, so it's they had heavy... Southern accents. Yeah, yes. and heavy, like, Southern language. Again, when you say they had a different language they spoke, it quite literally is a made-up language. And there's a lot of things that... I know you especially still say a lot of random things. It was. And I don't know if it's just because you're copying them or just because you're weird. But <laughs> nonetheless... What you? Yeah, a little bit of both. Yes. Yeah. Yes to everything. It's all these, like, random things our grandpa used to say where we'd be like, what, what, what are you talking about? And so I can imagine if you weren't born and raised in that, you come into it and you go, what in the world? Well, I, I, it it kind of... It, fa- it didn't scare me. It fascinated me. I thought, <laughs> what part of the country speaks like this <laughs> yep. and then you just looked at some ufo your magazine you're like oh this all makes sense no. now wasn't on your guys' first date your car broke down you guys went to the fair no it got towed away oh, got towed? my car got towed away <laughs> smooth criminal. very first date i should have known right oh, smooth there. criminal man but it but was she's... fun we there again you know looking back 40 years now mm-hmm. uh, well 46 mm-hmm uh, that we laughed a lot about that. I cried some at first because my car was gone, <laughs> but then we then we got to laughing and it was right. you know it was fun. And you just celebrated you your fortieth anniversary, right? Yes, our fortieth anniversary. That's crazy, man. Mm-hmm. You dated what for six years? We dated for six years. Well, we were young. You know, we were twenty two when we got married, which is still when you think about it, that's really yeah, young. That is really young. Yeah. So we we had to grow up mm-hmm. together mm-hmm. first. And then get married, and then right. life happened. You yeah. know, we raised, we we had a hard time having kids at mm-hmm. first, mm-hmm. and we waited for Lucas for a long, long time. Yeah, what was your what was your problem, Luke? Why didn't you show up? Yeah, we kept waiting. <laughs> I, just, I was holding back, man. And I don't want to. <laughs> Stork, storks would fly over our house in flocks and it's like, yeah. no. Well, it was like when our mom told us that the first time she met the, the Vibbert clan, she, the, the sentence I always remember she said was, uh, she says, I don't know what they were laughing about. But at least they were having a good time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, right. We had our shirts on. That's probably, oh, yeah. That, that, was, that was the joke is that she said, like, I think Grandpa came in with, like, a torn up shirt or oh. something like that. And it was like, the first time my mom had met them. And you came in and you ripped the shirt off Grandpa. <laughs> Any, anytime he had a little hole, yeah. I mean, that was that started. So we'd grab that little hole and just start ripping the shirt off. I can imagine if, like, if I brought Amanda over to, to me and I just ripped your shirt off. <laughs> Probably wouldn't be a good thing to do nowadays. Not nowadays. Except unless it's college. Look at my mom. Tuesday. Look at my dad. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> Oh man! I'd pay money to see that. Yeah, that would be something else. I'd be like, I don't know if I want a tattoo of SpongeBob. (laughs) (laughs) Just the full chest tattoo of SpongeBob. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Definitely has been wild. Can you believe that you have uh, your kids are in their thirties? What? Can you believe that your kids are in their thirties now? They are. (laughs) (laughs) I guess you can. No, it's hard to believe. It it is. No. Uh, l- looking looking back, you know, people ask, "Well, gee, you know, how was that?" Well, it, it was fine because it was life. Mm-hmm. There was no, there was no difference with us having kids taking them to the restaurant 
whether we had them or not, it was, there was no difference. We would have right. people come up to us and tell us, your, your children are very well behaved. And it's like, well, not really because we're like this at home, we're like this here. Mm -hmm. There's no difference. You know, right. It's not like, okay, if everybody's good, we're going to go out to dinner on Friday. No. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. it's like... Eh. We never had to worry about that. We never, ever. We took them everywhere. Yeah. Well, it's because if we did anything wrong, you guys would beat us yeah. to hell. <laughs> Threat of the belt. Well, <laughs> bam! Got <laughs> that, throw down. That worked though. Joel, I think I think out of the group, you're the smartest because we would we would not necessarily beat Lucas, but because <laughs> we can't say that now. As close um, to a beating as, as you close to a beating get. as we could, and yeah. you would watch, and you would like. I won't do that. Yeah. So, I was so the whole you, time just locked. I was a Joel. Just run. Yeah. <laughs> run. Uh -huh. Save yourself. I, I believed it after you said Joel's the smartest. <laughs> uh, you, you no never, one's ever said it. Yeah, you were, you were a good child. We rarely had to do anything with you. But Lucas was strong-willed. Lucas was strong-willed. So, I, I so remember Joel's the favorite. Well, he yeah. talked about talking back and yeah, being a... You he were... Was, I, I think you he were was. Fun. He was. He was more strong-willed than any of the grandkids. I think he was that. too. No, yeah. I don't know what happened. Down like that. <laughs> I mean, same with these guys. You know, I never really had to, you know, thank you guys or anything like that. You wanted to. I do that every day. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do it right now. I know. I know, that you, I know that you've always said that <laughs> Kayla was probably the biggest handful of your three kids. But out of Cody and I, which one did you have to discipline more? Do you think? Kayla. Yeah. No, I meant in between. Oh, between the two. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Kayla. Out of us two, I completely, Kayla. I completely forgot about you guys. Kayla was so far off the chart. <laughs> There's still the answer. <laughs> Kayla still. Kayla. Um, man, between the two of you, really? You guys are so much alike. Um, <laughs> you hear that? I mean, that ain't the case. I so where, where, where did it go wrong? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean you guys were you were great boys, and you grew up to be great men, and that's yeah. you know it makes uh, makes a dad proud. Let's not get ahead of sure. ourselves. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so since you you did have a daughter, what was did you have to change your um, parenting style? raising techniques mm -hmm. uh compare like with you know compared to boys to a girl uh, i i think yeah i think it was a little bit different with kayla um especially being the baby i think i let a, a lot more stuff go probably which i shouldn't have you know i should have probably been a little bit more you know stern with her um but i was pretty stern with the boys uh, I wouldn't let them get away. With I got the, whole the scars lot, to know, prove it. <laughs> you know, talking back or anything like that. You know, but mm -hmm. that was just being respectful. So to their mom and whatever. Yeah. But as far as Kayla, you know, she was like Luke, very strong-willed. Uh, you know, <laughs> Luke's got problems. Very <laughs> handsome. More, more she. Very yeah, handsome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was. She was a toughie. <laughs> I wonder. Yeah, I, I wonder if was we've we've debated many times nature versus nurture about where the the where that intersects a little bit, and I I'm always been curious because I see a lot of Warren and him in similarities, and I certainly see a lot more of me and Kayla in in similarities. Mm -hmm. and I just thought it was really interesting. Like, hmm, there's certain things that just don't click on because I, I agree that him and I are very similar in a lot of ways. But I, 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 wherever we are similar, whatever we're not similar in, it's as polar opposite as you could probably get. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's either we're exactly on the same page or we're on the opposite end of the spectrum, yeah. completely. As in, I'm attracted to him, but he's not, and I don't understand <laughs> why he doesn't. Dad doesn't want to hear that. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> I, fa I failed. This is why we're here. It's an intervention. <laughs> this is, it's, this it's is coming out time. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Don't judge me, Ray. Yeah, <laughs> judge him. <laughs> Actually, know, we were speaking about uh, ages too. Like the, I, I had a moment. Uh, it was like a week or two ago, where I forget. Amanda said something to me about we were talking about the wedding, and she mentioned Kayla and Warren, and I, something came up about their age, and I was like, yeah, they're gonna be twenty six, or Kayla's gonna be twenty six. Warren's already twenty six, yeah. and that's when like I had a weird moment where I go, my younger siblings are gonna be twenty six. Yep. I, that was weird. It weirded me out. I was like, whoa, hold on. Like, I, I know, like, I'm in my 30s now and I'm getting older. 
it's, it's all fine. It doesn't weird me out too much. But that one kind of weirded me out. I was like, whoa. Like, they're they're pushing 30? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, that's yeah. weird to me. You should be the dad. Yeah. yeah. I was like, makes you that's feel crazy. Close to 80. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Up there. Well, when Joel hit 30, mm-hmm. I'm like, what the heck is going on here? Yeah, yeah. what's yeah. happening? Finally in the 30 club. But you guys have done well. I mean, you're waiting. Cody's engaged also. and But, you know, you guys have didn't do it too early you know i mean we were 21 22 23 years old but you guys have waited until you're close to 30s mm-hmm. um getting your careers and all that kind of stuff established not that we didn't at that age but mm-hmm. you know but we were still pretty young so what was that i don't know i don't know if it's it's considered waiting or just taking what we can get when we <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, whatever's, yeah. available. Yeah. whatever's available grab the <laughs> first thing that flutters by you'll <laughs> do sure you'll pass you'll do it's not optimal but i, I tell you guys we'll get another chance <laughs> um, I, when when you guys started dating we would talk to our friends it's like well what kind of girl, you know, is Lucas and Joel dating? And I said, it doesn't matter. I said, we'll boil them first, and then we'll bring them home. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we were, you know, we were worried about that. But you guys, I cannot tell you as a parent how happy we are for the women that you've chose. Mm-hmm. Chose or bought? <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, really... Um, uh, important and blessing and you won't know until you have your own children it's true and they seek out their mate that you think oh lord please be with them because you know you never know what path that will that will go down yeah but you guys we have we are ecstatic oh, yeah. same here with you guys I don't eh, know eh, kind of i don't know i'm, I'm not too big on uh, cody but uh, yeah, it's not <laughs> working uh, out. Well, like a, a lot of Stop times, like, I, I, I'm just I, I always joke with Amanda and, and say like I, I don't know what it is about men that women find attractive because they're just like very unappealing in a lot of ways, at least physically or just. But speak for yourself. Nothing attractive yeah, going on speak there. Speak for yourself. Well, oh, Cody's pretty good looking. Guy. Um, but I, I was like, I'm, I'm constantly waiting for the camera crew to come out of the closet. And then Amanda's like, got you. This uh-huh. is all reality Sorry, show. We worked. Yeah. I wasn't really into you. I'm like, okay. Uh, this all makes a lot more sense now. Dylan, that's it. why you marry a blind woman like I do. <laughs> <laughs> that's the secret to happiness. That's boys marry a blind woman. Then their <laughs> other senses are heightened. Yeah. 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 Better smell know. real good. Yeah. yeah. Have a clue, clue extra what you, you better hide all those farts. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't going to happen. Yeah. 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 Ain't going to happen. Good luck with that. Yeah. Well, I think we're out of time for this episode. No, buddy. Yeah. no let's it was, keep going. I have many stories. That, uh, we, we can keep going. You know, let's just keep going. Then we'll be here for three hours. Uh, but uh, thank you guys for coming on. It was a battle getting you here, and then you know, of course, getting you here. And we actually literally were sitting down to record, and then had to reschedule once we had a technical issue. But yeah. glad we got it to happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's been fun. We've been looking forward to doing it. Yeah, yeah. well. We'll definitely do it again. We tend to have repeat guests, so I'm sure we'll see you guys in the future. If not, we'll see you guys uh, later this week when we have dinner with you. Maybe we'll we'll talk about it. I'll I'll come without Ray next time. (laughs) What? (laughs) I'll be on the freeway with my sign. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) All right. Well, uh, thank you, everybody out there for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're watching on there, and check us out on SoundCloud, iTunes, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And what else, Cody? Uh, Twitter. I said that already. But, uh, SoundCloud. Pay attention. Yes. Would you please? The tubes. <laughs> YouTube. Yeah, that too. All right, everybody. Thank you. Bye. All right, thank you. Hey, bye. 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 <laughs>